special edition limited edition on the run so uh, this is a bit of a rare car i would say uh, it's actually low mileage as well it's just over 90,000 on the clock so uh, we have actually three of them in at the moment um, one is our customer gut who's uh, brought the car for a bit of an upgrade so we've done the turbo and stuff and the second vpm is here just for a uh, uh, mot and done some small bits and bobs uh, this one on the run today, uh, we will do a full service, so that includes bar plugs, oil change, oil filter, air filter, bottom filter and fuel filter as well. And also the timing belt with water pump is due. Uh, meanwhile, the coolant uh, is out of the engine, uh, the customer asked for new thermostat with the housing as well. And uh, we did find the age-related marks on the coolant reservoir, which has a slight crack here and there, so that will be replaced as well. Um, I'm really hoping it will be just a one day job and nothing will go wrong. So uh, I'll start with the oil change. So we have to remove the uh, undercover uh, from the vehicle, drain the oil, and uh, then when it comes to the timing belt replacement, uh, the timing is on the front of the engine. So uh, I have to remove the front bumper and uh, till the front end a bit. So there's a bit of more room and access to the bits what we need to replace. So uh, let's get to it. Okay, so we'll be using Gillian parts again. Everything is from TPS, service bits and uh, the timing belt bits as well. And this is what we'll be working on today. So it's a 2-litre petrol engine uh, with a turbo. It's BUL code with a KO3 turbo producing like around 220 brake horsepower. The engine bay is pretty much clean. It's fully stock standard. Nothing was replaced. This is the thing what I was talking about. So you can see the small cracks here and there in the coolant reservoir so that will be replaced it's a common issue because the temperatures in the engine bay are just too high so um they have registered about 250 cars in the uk and according to uh, the online information will be find uh, there's only 180 left in the uk currently which are running on the road so the dtm is basically b7a4 you have a carbon splitter a few bits and bobs it's a four-wheel drive as well manual gearbox so um, pretty much rare car uh, interior the car seats so um, it is a nice spec okay nevertheless we will start with the service so i'm going to drain the oil first uh, we will take the spark plugs out and i definitely want to check the compressions as well so uh, we know what's the stage of the engine and yeah let's start it As you can see, it's a Ginian filter and probably never been replaced, so it was about time to replace it. But you never knew 
next step we will sort out the timing so we will take the front bumper off and we don't have to remove the headlights or the whole slam panel we're just gonna tilt the front end a bit so there's more space here and uh, we can take off the old belt and put a new one on so uh, let's do it hey, my love. you say you wanna try but you never do. okay so once the front end is off we can uh, finally remove these plastic covers uh, we have a torque bolt over here then we have a 10 mil bolts on the bottom we have to remove this coolant pipe for the turbo drive belt and we have to also remove the tension the pulley On the bottom but there's no irritation point really so uh, what we will do we have a tool to get the highest position of uh, piston number one so we know the crank is in the correct position uh, to the cam and then we'll put the new belt with all the pulleys and tensioner So this is the old timing belt, tensioner pulley, two idler pulleys and water pump looks like they are genuine parts and we will install genuine parts again. So water pump and timing belt kit, tensioner pulley, two idlers and a new tooth belt. So let's put it on. <clears throat> okay, so the new timing belt is on now with everything new, we you see it in the box previously. So now I will do unleash two turns, uh, turn the crank pulley and we will have to get to the highest point on cylinder number one again and obviously the mark will still have to be in place so that used to be an arrow but somebody put the white dot here and there because I don't know, people are probably blind so yeah, let's, let's turn it Wondering where we're getting all the timing specs and everything, we have it online, like everyone else, I suppose. So, this is the spec. Once all done, we have to reset the service reminder, which is quite easy on this. Before you put the ignition on, we have to put, press the spanner button and then just the reset trip button, and it's all done. Including the full service, you also check the tire pressure all the way around so you can find the sticker for the correct pressure inside the driver side B filler. So that's the DTM done, another daily job and um, thank you for watching. I definitely want to thank you all for subscribing to our channel. We just hit 2000 subscribers and uh, I'm really hoping we'll keep you entertained with a uh, bit of a more interesting things than timing belt replacement. Uh, we do have a few cars waiting outside for engine rebuilds, so I'm uh, looking forward to do a full video how we put in the engines back together. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one then. See ya.